It is what it is, what it is, YouTube. You know who it is. It's your boy, the Moose. Hit it. Please welcome DJ the Moose. Hit it. Okay, so we're going to talk about a couple things. We're going to talk about the HDMI, uh, this HDMI capture card, and we're going to talk to, talk about uh, three different styles of HDMI wire, and we are going to talk about the double USB, USB, and power condenser. Um, all three of these things. So let's. Let's dive into it. So the first thing we're going to talk about is this capture card that I got. This capture card, um, I use it for my camera, and it works. It's it's really nice because um, you can plug into USB, or you can actually use HDMI. So it doesn't matter which one you buy. You either way, because input output uh, HDMI, and then there's the this USB which is output from the camera. So just just to let you know. And then they have on here they have a microphone jack and they have a, a headphone jack. So what I'm gonna be doing um, at my gig um, so I, I don't use the power. How I'm gonna do is just set it up, plug it in. But before the gig, I'm going to get a power conditioner because what happens is, is my uh, camera uh, gives big uh, a, a humming noise um, when it's plugged into the wall. So that means it needs a conditioner. So I will be getting a conditioner for my setup. And how this is going to work is very, very simple. And I'm going to share this with you. So what we're going to do is this. There is an existing, um, I'm actually going to, um, um, Guitar Center on Tuesday, and I'm picking this up. It's a firmer PST 2 plus 6 Power Station Series AC Power Conditioner. $69. And you can plug in your cable um, basically it has um, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. okay so what it does it actually has it's um, it has three separated power banks so you could separate them and the four that are close. So um, you basically can come up with big blocks if you want to plug them in uh, to this. And it'll what'll happen is it's also um, so I could pick it up um, I can pick it up at the store. Um, I'll, I'll figure out what store it has it. And then go pick it up. Um, I pretty much uh, so um, so what it what it'll do is it'll limit the it'll make the sound better. Um, It'll make the sound better on my camera, and it'll basically take uh, the other job of everything else. Um, so, pretty much um, everything will be plugged into it. Um, that's how I'm going to do it. And it comes with the. With the How long is the cord? I think it's like a it's a fifteen foot cord or a 
three foot. I don't remember how, how long the cord is. But basically what it'll do is it'll plug into my four bank. And then the only things that are going to be plugged into, into, it's everything's going to be plugged into it anyway. So how it works is the speakers come down and they go into the table on the ends and the 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 cables on the ends will get plugged into on the inside there's a there's I got the, the the way the table set up is it's all elusive so basically the wires are already there and I just take the surge the surge protector out, the surge protector out and then plug in the conditioner and then the conditioner will go to the other surge protector which is on the um, which is on the uh, 14 foot uh, I mean the 25 foot 14 gauge wire that goes to the wall and um, I made that and then I have a, a 25 foot uh, surge protector for my lights so I don't have to fool with that anymore. It's all ready to go. Um, actually, I put the surge protector for the lights in the light bars uh, in the light bar bag, which the light bar didn't have a bag. And what I did was I had an old projector bag for um, uh, running with my projector. I don't use projectors anymore. I use TVs. It's a lot simpler. Um, you don't leave those behind. I left the projector uh, screen behind, and it was a good projector screen, but I left it behind, and I ended up getting a ratty tat tat one. Um, so um, yeah, so basically that that, and I I even called the school, and they would, and they never got back with me about it. So I never got that back. But and then you have HDMI. Uh, HDMI, there are three sized HDMIs. There is the regular, the standard HDMI. There is the uh, HDMI Mini. Then there is the HDMI Micro. Make sure that you read the product descriptions before you purchase stuff. Um, I got this wire because I thought it was a mini, but it's a micro. But that's okay because now I have a longer wire um, to basically go to this. This will come from my camera to this. Uh, this is like a nine foot wire. So this will go to my camera. This is a high speed uh, uh, wire. So it's a really good wire. Um, gold plated um, so it'll go into the HDMI and then the HDMI right here will go through here and then go straight into my um, USB and what I end up doing probably is um, I am going to record on um, the whole gigs the wedding and everything um, I will be using a boom mic so I'm I'm probably gonna get a better boot mic, um, cause this wireless microphone setup that I got going, it's it's not working. Um, I'm cutting out, the volume goes in and out and everything, and I'm having complaints, but people can't hear me. That'll work great because um, for the preacher, I can just connect them. And then I can turn up the volume on the on the um, Tion A4, which that's what they'll be plugged into. Um, I I don't need nothing bigger. Um, I don't ever have any problems. Um, I got this to get rid of the Tion A4 because the Tion A4 I got it especially for a. a a double setup. So if I have to do double setup somewhere, I can just use the Tion A4. I'm done. I'm set up. Um, they can Bluetooth if they want to on it, and, and it just makes it easier for me and the client. 
So that's the only reason I got that for. Um, I don't know. Um, in the future, um, I don't have that many gigs. So to me, to to go out and buy uh, gear every time um, gear is up, and, and I just, I, I don't know. Uh, I have mixed feelings about going and um, uh, getting lights and getting this and getting that and everything else. And I got the perfect cup lights. They work really good. I get complimented all the time when I go to weddings. Um, I can have them sit still or I can have them change color. So um, usually um, the client, uh, the clients I get down here are outdoors. So, um, yeah, um, I could get battery operated ones from China and, and everything else because I know some people that have them and they really talk good about them. So if I ever in the market about getting any, I'd probably get those. But I, I am not in the market for, uh, for, um, uh, battery operated lights because to me um, power is everything and let's say that you don't plug them in and things happen and uh, I will be getting uh, uh, extension, extension cords with multiple outlets so I can actually run out um, Usually outside, it's no um, reason to have up lights. Um, dance floor lights at night are good, but usually um, the they start during the day um, and they end up at night. Now I've had some where I end up at night all the time. Um, Jennifer's garden was one of them. Um, I didn't have any lights then. Um, and because the client didn't want any so it just you know um, being outside a lot of clients don't like the lights they just go with what they got at the at the gigs but um, I try to bring the light the t-bar the um, and in February I did the February 1st um, I actually didn't have enough extension cords, so um, that's something that that I've been working with. That's why um, the 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 T bar itself has a 25 foot cord, so it's got its extension cord, it's got its um, surge protector, it's got six outlets. So there are only four lights, so that means I got two more outlets just in case something happens. I can use it. I have a backup um, surge protector too. In all, actually, I will have another backup um, surge protector because once I get the power conditioner, um, that's going to come out of the, the picture. I didn't get the uh, the one that's. I should get the one that that has a switch and then, and then I'd have to cut wood and I just really don't want to do that so um, yeah and I'd have to modify the, the table and I've modified the table a lot um, to, to, to tell you the truth um, I really don't know what to put on the sides um, of the table to make it look better I think I have an idea but um, I'm gonna sand it um, this, um, not this weekend because I'll be gone, but uh, I'll sand it probably um, next week, the edges, and um, <coughs> finish the paint job that I have to finish on the edges after sanding. Um, I'm thinking about doing some compound, uh, joint compound. I think I, think I have some in the, in the garage. Actually, I do. I got some in the garage. I'm going to fill the holes with the, the compound, I'm going to sand it down real good, and then I'm going to finish coat paint. That way it looks real good on the edges of the table because um, 
I didn't do that because I was going to go with angle iron all the way around it, but why? It looks better um, if I take the time and do the job instead of trying to conceal it. So that's what I'm going to do. Uh, the top has got carpet. Um, the reason I got carpet there is because um, it keeps everything from slipping because I painted it black and when I painted it black um, if it rains or something like that um, so the, the whole purpose of this is it doesn't take me long to break down just in case I get rained out um, the sub is sealed but um, so anyways uh, that's what's going on um, go ahead and subscribe to my channel um, go ahead and ring my bell for more notifications uh, for videos like this and uh, what's to come skate vlogs um, also go ahead and like my video if you like what you hear if you don't like what you hear hit the dislike button and please tell me why you don't like my video and maybe there's something I can do to fix it I will that being said one more thing and I will close. Quote for the day. Don't call it a dream. Call it a plan. Don't ask me. Peace.